What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be how to build a four function calculator using C Sharp in Microsoft Visual Studio. So if you're following along with the C Sharp tutorial series, this is episode three. And if you need some introduction into basic variable types, data types, and understanding kind of how to get C Sharp, how to install it, and what it's for, I suggest you check out the first two tutorials on the video uh, on the channel. But if you're just here for the concepts in this video, then that's great. Let's get right into it. So basics of a four function calculator are we're just going to do addition, subtraction, um, multiplication, and division. And we're not going to worry about building a graphical user interface for it yet. We're going to handle it all inside the console. So basically to start, let's just start building out the calculator. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prompt the user for um, two numbers and an operator. So we'll say enter your first number. And I'm just going to kind of write the prompts first. So enter your first number, enter your second number, and then we'll say operator. And if you want, you could put the operator um, right in between the two numbers. But I'm going to do it this way. And then just to let the user know what we can expect from it, I'm going to add these parentheses. And I'm going to say plus, minus, division, or multiplication okay so I'm gonna kind of add those in brackets just in parentheses so they know what um, we're expecting now the next thing we want to do is console dot read line and basically these are how you display things to the console window and pull things back from the console window if you did miss the first two uh, episodes then that this is something we covered a lot you just need to know this is how you get stuff back from the operators um, and how you display things to the console window if you don't have a built-in graphical user interface. Okay, so uh, for read line, it's just that, but we need to store that info somewhere. So we'll call this variable first number, and um, we are going to make this the data type double because we'd like our calculator to work not just for whole numbers, we'd like it to work for decimals as well. We discussed the differences between decimal float uh, integer and double in previous videos so if you need some background on that uh, go check that out but the first number is going to be console.readline but you're seeing the red squiggly line most likely if you're using Visual Studio or another modern IDE and that's because uh, read lines are always coming in as strings so if we want this to be a value uh, of um, a decimal value we need to do convert dot and then to double Okay, and it's going to take the value that comes in and it's just going to turn it into a double. So that's super useful. We are going to do the exact same thing for second number and we are just going to change the variable name. So second number is convert to double. And then we actually don't need a convert for the operator um, because we want the operator to stay a string. All right, so let's go ahead and do operator. And this is instead of double going to be string. And let's see, if I run this, let's see, string operator, oh, it's operator is a, is a uh, stored procedure for um, C sharp, so call it my operator or math operator, something like that. There are certain words you're not going to be able to use, like you can't call a string string because um, that's a built-in, so we'll say my operator. And I'm going to go ahead and run this just to show you. So enter your first number, let's say 12. Enter your second number, 23. And I'm going to say enter uh, plus. So should be 35. It's not going to do anything yet, but um, it's also not giving us an error. That just means everything is working appropriately. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to start processing that um, information. So we're going to say if my operator, and after the if, um, you do open and close parentheses and this is where you put your conditional statement so if my operator is equal to and then for checking is equal to it's two equal signs right next to each other just like that um, and then we'll start with addition so if is equal to and then parentheses and then what I like to do for if statements is I like to use these curly brackets um, technically if you have one statement uh, just one if statement followed by one condition you don't need it but these curly brackets are really the most useful way to identify something is inside of another packet so inside of an if statement inside of a function anything like that 
And all we have to do, if it's addition, is we'll go ahead and grab a console write line. And we're going to do, 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 do first number plus second number. And because we're dealing with numerical values, the code is smart enough to see this addition. And instead of like with two strings, it would be concatenating them. And you would just see like if it was 12 and 23 and they were strings, and then you add them together, it would say one, two, two, three. It would just smash the actual characters together. Because we're using doubles, it's going to perform addition on here. So that's really useful. All right, and then we will go ahead and do this just four times. So four if statements, um, if the operator is equal to subtraction, if the operator is equal to division, if the operator is equal to multiplication. And all we have to do in between the two is update the character. And those are all mathematical characters that C Sharp Visual Studio will recognize and perform the mathematical operation. Okay, so that should be everything we need. If we go ahead and run this, enter your first number, let's say 19, and enter your second number, let's make it tricky. Let's do like 10.45, and let's do division. Okay, 1.8181818, great, let's run it again. Let's do something else this time. Let's do like subtraction. So enter your first number, two, second number, 900, and let's do subtraction negative 898 so right there um, you know basically 15 maybe 20 lines of code and we've learned how to uh, interpret mathematical operations from user inputs and how to process four different operations um, just based on a user input so let's say we want to do one more thing we want to add a check after the operator is initially entered and we want to use some string methods to make sure that it was valid. So let's add another if statement and say if my operator, oh, it needs to be after, <laughs> order matters. So here we go. If my operator, make sure you get your parentheses, is uh, and now we'll use the dot length function. So we talked about this a little bit in the last video, um, but one of the methods you can use on strings is check how long it is. And obviously if we're checking for an operator um, character, we want to make sure the length is not less than, is not greater than one. So if operator um, length is greater than one, then what we want to do, I'll add some curly brackets, we want to basically ask them again to enter a valid operator. So let me go ahead and copy both of these lines. And we're gonna change the text a little bit. So we will say, and you, uh, when you overwrite a variable that you've already um, identified previously, you don't need to include the string again. You actually can't include the string again. So what we'll say is enter, instead of your, we'll say enter a valid operator just basically giving them another chance to get it right. So let's try that and see. Enter your first number, 12.3, and then second number, 23.5, and we'll say you hit plus, but then you accidentally type in equal as, as well. Well, now it's saying, okay, enter a valid operator, please, dummy. And then we'll use a plus, and it tells us 35.8. So that's a cool way to use a string method to just check and make sure that you kind of got the uh, correct spacing or the correct um, number of characters. Okay, so I think this is a super useful practical C-sharp um, tutorial, how to gather inputs from a user, how to process them and output them to the screen. We did some numerical manipulation, we did some string manipulation, and we used a couple of different variable types. So hopefully you're finding this C-sharp tutorial series useful. If you have any questions or you wanna see something specific in a future video, be sure to let me know about in the comments below. If you did find this or anything else on the channel useful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.